This is my 15 minute inch loss walking workout that we're going to do indoors and it is going to be a full body toning so let's lace up and get ready and I'm going to do this with you in real time. So what you need to start doing is just start marching on the spot and then how today's workout, what we're going to do, we do 30 seconds of marching so if you just start marching for me now and then we're going to do 30 seconds where we tone a specific area whilst we're still marching. So we are going to be burning fat and toning all over. This is suitable for every single fitness level. Okay, that's good. So we're just going to keep marching. Make sure when you march, land nice and softly for me. Keep the tummy muscles pulled in tight. That's good. Okay, well done. Let's just keep that going. So we're just doing 30 seconds worth of marching and shortly we're going to get ready for the first move which is going to come up. So now we're going to do the shoulder sculptor. So just do this for me for 30 seconds. Keep those feet marching for me. That's good. Keep the tummy tight. You're pushing your arms up and then drawing them down. So this is going to tone through your shoulders. You're also going to be toning through your arms. But the clever thing here, because we're taking your arms above heart level, you are working a little bit harder. You can see those seconds going down. That's good. Let's just keep that going. And you've got less than five seconds. Push that up and back down. Well done. That's good. Okay, so let's bring it straight back now to another set of 30 seconds of marching. Okay, that's good. So just make sure for me that you're keeping your shoulders up and pulled back. So we're keeping them lifted. Keep those tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. You've still got 20 seconds of marching left to go. That's good. Make sure you're landing softly. Well done. So here we are increasing your calorie burn. We're getting your heart stronger, your lungs stronger. Just think of all the benefits. That's good. And we're going to get ready. In five seconds, we're going to take it to another toning exercise. Okay, so your next one is what I call the wonder press. So all I want you to do is still marching, just push your arms out in front. And you can just see you've got 25 seconds left. So what I want you to focus on doing here, make sure you keep your hands in line with your shoulders. And really imagine you're pushing something forwards and pulling something back. This is really good for working through the bust and through the arms. And you've got last 10 seconds. That's good. Let's just keep that going, doing really well. You've got five left. That's it. And make sure you land softly, doing well. Okay, so bring it straight back now. Another 30 seconds marching on the spot. That's good. And if you want to work a little bit harder, you can just really bring those knees up nice and high for me. And the idea of this is, you know, if you don't want to go outdoors walking or if it's pouring with rain, you can do this 15-minute indoor inch loss workout with me. That's good. Keeping that going, well done. And really remember, let's just keep those tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. You're doing really well. And really swing through with those arms. That's good. So we're just working full body here. All right, we've got the next one, a banish bingo wing. So just come into this position. Let's go for 30 seconds. So this is an area I always get asked, how can I get rid of bingo wings? If it is a troublesome area for you, I do have a really good three minute book, which is full of um, three different workouts that you do over a three week period, plus a healthy eating plan and aerobic plan. And it is amazing to get rid of bingo wings. Okay, you've just got last five seconds. Let's just keep going. And then we are done. So we're going to bring it straight back to that march for me. Okay, that's good. And remember, just take those feet down really softly onto the ground. So you shouldn't hear yourself marching. You can land nice and softly. And just really make sure that you're kind of marching through and really use those arms. Keep the shoulders back. It's a good opportunity to improve your posture here as well. And keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight. That's good. Keeping that going. Well done. We've just got five more seconds. And then we're going to take it to another toning move. All right, so your next one we've got coming up right now is we're going to do a marching ab crunch for 30 seconds. So literally just have your arms in front or your hands in front and just bring one knee up, alternating from side to side. But as you do it, I want you to really focus on pulling those tummy muscles in nice and tight. That's good. And you've got less than 15 seconds to go. So let's just keep that going. So we are throughout this routine today, we are constantly moving. That's good. Nearly done. We've just got five seconds left. That's good. Lift that up. Keep those tummies pulled in tight. All right, let's bring it straight back now. We're going to go back to doing another 30 seconds of marching. 
And just remember here, it's so important, if you're wanting to do this for weight loss, you do have to combine this with healthy eating. And I do have a free seven day clean eating plan. If you head to my website, you can download that. And if you combined healthy eating with doing all my workouts, you're just gonna see some amazing results. That's good, let's just keep that going marching away on the spot. All right, so your next move coming up now, we're gonna do the walking booty lift. So now squeeze those arms back and you're just lifting that leg slightly behind you and you'll feel that working through the booty. And remember the more toned and sculpted these muscles are, the more calories your body burns on an hourly rate. So this is why toning, this is why this workout is gonna really help with weight loss and make you feel fantastic and look your best. All right, let's just keep that going. That's good, and we've just got five seconds, and we're also obviously working through the arms and back on that one, and done. Okay, so let's just keep that going straight back to a march. If at any point you need some water, you can always just hit the pause button and take a quick water break. Okay, that's good, and just really make sure you land nice and softly for me. Keep those shoulders pulled back, have your chest lifted, tummy muscles pulled in tight, just marching away, keep thinking of all these benefits you are investing in your health. You're doing really well. Let's just keep going. We've got less than five seconds to go. Then we're on to our next move. That's good. And let's get ready now. So your next one, we're gonna tone those thighs. All I want you to do is just step from one side to the other. And the benefit here, we're doing what I call a lateral move. So now we're focusing on working your inner and outer thighs. And the lower you come into this position, then the harder you're working, then it's a bit like a side step squat. Okay, that's good. That's really hard to say. All right, let's go last 10 seconds for me, keeping that going. So the lower you are, the harder you're working. You've got five. Let's go four, three, two, and then one. All right, let's bring that now straight back up to that march for me. That's it. And again, just make sure you are landing softly. Try and keep those knees up as high as you can and really swing through with the arms. That just means then we're toning through the upper body, keeping the chest lifted. So make sure you are walking with good posture. This gives you a good opportunity to really enhance your postural muscles as well. That's it. Well done, you're doing really well. So let's just keep focus, keep thinking of all the benefits. So our next move, we've got the waist reach. So this time I want you to reach up and then slightly over. So this one now, we are targeting into the obliques, the side muscles through your waist and reach it up. And of course, remember, whenever you take anything above heart level, your heart has to work a little bit harder. So it just increases the cardiovascular in intensity of this workout. And you've got last 10 seconds. Let's keep that going. Reach it up and across and let's go last five that's good keeping that going doing really well and we're done so you know what's going to happen now straight back to your march now if at any point you want to or you're feeling fitter say you've done this workout a few times you could always alternatively do a little jog on the spot on these 30 second intervals that's good so just keep that going and just keep thinking of all the benefits you're gonna get from training like this. And it's about making it a lifestyle. It's about making it a habit. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna keep that going. And well done. So your next move, this time, we're gonna call this the power punch. All I want you to do for 30 seconds is punch those arms out as hard as you can in front. Aim to keep them at shoulder height good. So the benefit here, you will be toning through your arms. We're going to be working you aerobically a little bit harder. That's good. And let's just keep that going. This is really good. If you've had a bit of a stressful day, we can just power punch that away. You've got 10 seconds. Let's just keep that going. Keep those arms nice and high. And we're now on those last five. That's good. Keeping that going. Doing really well. All right, let's bring it straight back now to your march. And remember I said, if you want to, you could always take this to a 30 second gentle jog on the spot. And the other thing is in your room, if you want, you can sort of walk around the room. You don't have to stay on the spot depending on what area space you have. That's good. And just make sure, keep focusing on pulling that belly button in tight to the spine because that's going to really help to increase your core strength and tone through those ab muscles as well. 
All right, so we've just got six moves left. The next one is the windmill walk. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So this one now, you are toning all over. This is also gonna be really good to help increase your flexibility. So you're just bringing the opposite hand to meet the opposite foot, alternating from one side to the other. You've got 15 seconds left. Let's just keep that going. And also on here, we are using your ab muscles as well because they're gonna help stabilize you through the transition of each move. Five seconds to go. Let's just keep that going. Okay, well done. All right, let's bring that straight back now to that march. And remember, if you need to, you can always press the pause button and grab some water. And if you want to work perhaps a little bit harder, you can always take that to a gentle jog for 30 seconds. Just make sure you are landing nice and softly for me. And if you're doing the march, make sure you've got good posture. Keep those shoulders pulled back, chest lifted. That's good. You're doing really well. Okay, and in fact, the next exercise we're gonna be doing is a really working on those abs. So for this one, all I want you to do, you don't have to place your hands, I'm just doing this to show you, but I want you to do a few seconds, pull your tummy in as tight as you can, then you can release, and then just draw that in as tight as you can. So imagine you're trying to get your belly button to touch your spine, and then release. We're just gonna keep to doing that on and off. You've got 15 seconds left. And again, just draw it in really tight. You can place your hands there if you find that easier as a guide. And then let's just go last five seconds, drawing that in tight. All right, let's bring it straight back to a march. And remember, if you want to, you can always take that to a gentle jog. So let's just keep that going. We are nearly done with today's training. So you're doing really well. That's it. So we've just got four toning moves left to go. And this workout, you will have toned absolutely everywhere. Okay, that's good. And let's get ready now for the next one. So this one we call Climb to the Moon. So we are just going to imagine, perhaps think of it like this, that you've got a ladder and you're just climbing up a ladder and take those arms up as high as you can. And the great thing here with this, again, what we're doing, because we're raising the arms above heart level, we are cardiovascularly having to work a little bit harder. You've just got 15 seconds left to go reaching that up so we're so close to touching the moon that's good and well done let's just keep that going five seconds and again this is going to be really good for toning through your upper body all right let's bring it straight back to a march so we've just got three toning moves to do you're doing really well so stick with me if you can and remember you can jog it or you can march it and if you need to hit the pause button have a little rest and you can always do that and that's where this workout is ideal for every fitness level. If you want to work harder, then take it to a jog. Or if you're quite happy keeping that low impact, just stick with marching on the floor or on the ground. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, that's good. So let's just keep that going. All right, so our next move, this time we're going to do the ballet walk. I love this one. So you just literally cross the arms over in front and point one leg in front. So here we are toning everywhere. It's lovely for working actually through the top of the upper back as well as toning through the thighs. That's good. And we've got 15 seconds to go. So let's just keep that going. That's it. Well done nearly done let's go last five seconds just point that foot in front try and keep those arms just above hip level all right and let's bring it straight back now to another march or remember alternatively you can take that straight back to that jog for me and the great thing is once you've done this workout a few times you can switch my volume right down you can put on your favorite music and you can have this video on because you can see with the, the kind of coming up what exercise is so it's easy to do without having my narration. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going. Well done, doing really well. And let's, I'm trying to think your next move coming up. Oh, I know. Okay, so we're going to do jiggle free arms. So this time now, just extend your arms out. What is important, do make sure you are keeping them up at shoulder height and take that out. That's it. And then again, just make sure you're landing nice and softly with your feet as you do this. That's good. And we've just got one more exercise after this. So it's been a really good workout today. And I would say as well, okay, so let me just quickly count you down. You've got five seconds to go. All right, 
So if you are wanting to lose weight, remember it is important. You want to be aiming to exercise between four to five times a week. So you can do this workout and don't forget I've got heaps of other workouts, my four minute ones on YouTube. So just have a scroll through my YouTube channel and you'll find loads. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going. Land nice and softly. Or if you're doing that jogging, again on the spot, just make sure you do land softly for me. Doing really well. That's good. Last few seconds. All right, so we're gonna get ready for that last move. This one's called create those curves. So what you're gonna do, you bring the knee up and then you're kind of taking the arms and you're twisting the waist very slightly. So working through the lower body, we're also working through your arms. And um, we've got the last 15 seconds coming up and now. So let's go for it. Feel that through the tummy. Keep the tummy muscles pulled in tight. Take that knee up nice and high. Keep the arms up there. Just imagine you're going from one side to the other. And last five seconds, four, go three, two, and then one, and we're done. So we are just gonna march out for the last 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna go through doing a full stretch with you. If you are jogging, then what I suggest now, you can really go for gold. You've got 20 seconds, you can take it, so you are literally doing high knees. If you are marching on the spot, I want you to pull those tummy muscles in as tight as you can for me, and walk with your best posture ever. Pull those shoulders back. That's good, let's just keep that going. We're so nearly finished. Doing really well. And there we go. And give yourself a big high five. Right, let's go through doing some stretches now. Again, if you need to, you can hit that pause button and just grab some water. Okay, so let's go with those stretches. First one, just take that leg behind. So you're gonna have to heel down on the ground, just lean into that leg. So your hands are on the bent leg. So we're just feeling the stretch through the calf muscle. We're just gonna hold that there. So today you've done a full body workout. You should be feeling amazing now. Let's take that opposite leg behind. Just keep that heel down on the ground, just lean into it. It's important you feel this through the calf muscle. All right, let's now take that to a hamstring stretch. So just bring that leg in front, toes point up, hands are on the bent leg. Kind of push the bottom up in the air where I want you to feel the stretch is through the back of the upper thigh on the extended straight leg. That's good. And the great thing is with stretching, it helps prevent muscle soreness, but it's really good for your alignment. So it's good for posture. Let's just take that to the opposite leg. That's it, well done. And then we're gonna get ready to, if you need to, use a wall or a chair for balance. Let's do a quadriceps stretch, stretching through the front of the thigh. Make sure your supporting knee is slightly bent, just holding that there. That's good. And then we're gonna get ready to take that to the other leg. So let's get ready, just swap that over. And then if you've liked this workout, I do also have a 15 minute, oh no, I think it's 16 minute inch loss audio workout. So you download it and it means it's on your headphones, your iPhone, MP3 player, and then I take you outdoors walking. So I'll leave a link down below on the um, description box on how you can access that. And as I said, I've got lots of workouts, eBooks and online training all available on my website. So let's just stretch through the chest Feel that there and bring the arms in front. And don't forget, I've got my seven day free clean eating plan, which you can just go ahead to my website, lwrfitness.com and download that. And then let's just now get ready for that tricep stretch. Cause remember we've done loads for your arms today. We have really toned them. So just try and get the fingertips down in between the shoulder blades. That's good. And then just take that back to the opposite arm and then I have also got my other virtual walking workouts which are really lovely you have to check them out um, I've got loads of those coming up let's just do a nice side stretch take it from one side to the other so the first one I've done is beautiful countryside one and my dad is singing the most beautiful song and then I'm also going to do one seeing the sights of London for you so I've got lots of exciting new videos coming my way or your way and then don't forget if you're not already definitely hit that subscribe button and if you like this video then please hit like and also help me spread the word about Lucy's squad and if you could it'd be amazing if you were to share the video and also if you've got any comments then please let me know down below. And as your trainer, for me, it's all about getting you results. So that's why I really stress, you know, if you have got any questions about today's training or where you're at with your training, if it's nutritional advice, motivational advice, 
or um, just anything about your fitness, then definitely let me know. And also on social media, if you hashtag Lucy Squad, then this online community, we all engage with each other. So even if it is from the rest of the squad, you want a little bit more motivation and, and support, then don't forget to do that. And then I'll see you tomorrow for another workout.